just when we thought fall had started, it's really starting to feel and look a lot more like winter. <laughs> Here's a look at some fresh snow today at Mount Baker. And thank you to Wheeler for sending this to us. It is beautiful, uh, but cold. I can keep looking at that all day, though. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Great shot. Yeah, and you're right. It's almost like we're skipping right over fall. I know the leaves are still changing. They're falling down on the ground. But, boy, we've got a winter storm to talk about, and the first advisory, uh, frost advisory of the season is with us tonight. So let's get started. Greg, Jessica, good evening. Good evening, everyone at home. Temperatures right now are in the 30s and 40s. We're at 38 in Bremerton at this hour, 39 Port Angeles, Forks at 38, 39 in Puyallup. And we do have temperatures compared to 24 hours ago, about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. We're losing a lot of the moisture, and once we lose the sea breeze, we will cool off even more. So I want to start off with the overnight lows, and we do have a lot of low to mid 30s on the map. Some spots where you are wind sheltered or when the wind dies, you will see some upper 20s. And because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a frost advisory. It begins at 11 p.m., takes us through tomorrow at 8 o'clock. That's for the east side and right across the south sound, that light blue color. The darker blue that you see there, well, that's a winter weather watch posted for the Cascades above 2,000 feet, up to 11 inches of fresh snow possible by the time we get into early Saturday morning, all the way to the state line. You got about two to five inches of fresh snow possible in places like Spokane. Down to the south, uh, Yakima, we've got uh, freeze warning all the way across Prosser, Kennewick, and temperatures will be in the 20s overnight there as well. Take a look at this great shot from some of the rain after it came through in the convergence zone. Some of you didn't get much at all. Some of you got some heavy rain, even some grapple. Chris Inman, thanks for sending that in on Twitter at lefty chris 33 we love to see your pictures so tag us and let us share them with everyone let's see what's going on where you are uh that by the way was in linwood we've got some uh, most of the rain has started to move out of here i'm watching this system here off to the left in the gulf of alaska getting ready to come on in not tomorrow but friday tomorrow we do have some sunshine this is eight o'clock tomorrow morning maybe some frost uh some fog rather for parts of the south sound tomorrow we do have a dry flow in place for a good part of the day that's 5 p.m but by the time we get into friday here comes the rain five o'clock friday morning uh, i think for the morning commute we'll start to see that rain and snow in the higher elevations again you saw that winter storm watch in place for the cascades we've got uh, 9 a.m a lot of us are seeing the rain kind of starting to ease off a little bit, but in the mountains, the snow is starting to pile up between 12 and say five o'clock in the afternoon. I think that's where we're going to see several inches of fresh snow above uh, say 4,000 feet. As we look at the UW high resolution model for snowfall estimates by the end of Friday, Stevens Pass, we're seeing an estimate of 10 inches of fresh snow. Snoqualmie Pass about three inches or so. Mount Baker, seven inches. All right, tomorrow's highs, 50s. Yeah, we're going to have some sunshine. Enjoy it, get some stuff done, especially outdoors, cover up the sensitive vegetation, get any type of preparation needed for the outdoors as we go through uh, the day tomorrow, because after that, we will be very cold this weekend. Here's your seven day forecast. We'll start the mornings with frost, temperatures in the 30s, and afternoon highs will be in the 40s. Jessica and Greg, this weekend, I think we're gonna have more in the way of widespread frost this weekend. All right, we'll gear up for it. Yeah. Greg, thank you. you got it.